What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can lens flare in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13, Photoshop or even After Effects, be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Okay, so you can see right here, I've got a clip here of me just shooting guns in Advanced Warfare, sniper right here. So, I'm going to add a lens flare to it, so same video that we used yesterday, I'm just going to shorten this down right here. Now, where am I actually going to put the lens now? I haven't thought about this, but yeah, let's see. So, we're going to take the shot, and then maybe we can put a lens flare coming back up there and coming out of the screen. So, if we use the arrow keys here, going left and right, or of course you can use these right here and I'm right there I want the lens flare to come in now actually I've changed it I'm gonna make the lens flare come from the outside and come in to there so it's really simple to do let's get to it so first of all come to your video effects and now you want to go ahead and look for lens flare I've got quite a lot of plugins so I'm just gonna type in lens okay so here we go you won't have any of these BCC ones unless you of course you have downloaded it this is the one you'll have right here it just says lens flare now, you can see there are different types of lens flares you can use. For this, I'm going to be using the one that says standard lens. So, this is the one I'm going to use, and I'm going to use it on this clip right here. Now, one thing you should do, go to where you want the lens to start, press S on your keyboard, so now you've got two clips. So, the right clip is where I want the lens to come in, so I'll just separate it. And now I'm going to add the standard lens on, and you'll see, that's what it's going to do straight away, it's going to add it on. So, I'm going to take it off screen for now like that and the way we actually animate this so it does this at a certain time I'm gonna put this up here now you can see it says light position right here this is what we need so if you click this down arrow right here and also press this which says animate now you can see when do we want this light up here to get up to there so I'm gonna play it through and you wanna make sure this is checked right here so what this does it's going to sync this part up here with the timeline so that's when I want it to reach there so you can see we've stopped right here all you need to do is drag this up here and it's gonna stop right there and now if we continue playing I want it to go back off screen I want to make it go up there so drag it up like that okay so now the lens flare is actually complete if we go back and watch this just go ahead and click play and you can see that is how your lens flare is that simple it's all animated very simple and you don't need to click any of these buttons right here it's all done by sync cursor and just moving the uh, thing right here the plus so it's that simple that is how you do it and you can see as we move this the X and Y move as well so I'm gonna go ahead and make something real quick and let's see how it turns out so I'm adding a black solid background on this I'm removing the audio track and I'm going to insert another video track above it now on this video track I'm going to be adding some text so I'm going to add this soft one right here and I'm just going to call it YouTube oops that was really bad I'm going to call it YouTube and we're going to add a lens flare for when it comes in so just X out of this now we're going to add a transition to it so it gives it a nice transition when it comes in So I'm going to be using a gradient wipe left to right, so you'll see, if we just apply this right here, I'm going to make it a bit longer, like this, if we play this, that's how the text is going to show. Now I'm going to add a lens flare to it, so the lens flare is going to come across as the text shows. So, same steps again, go to video effects, lens flare, I'm going to add the standard lens once again, we're adding it onto the text this time, so you can tell it does work on text. Now, you can see it's not actually going to show anything for now, that is because the text isn't up. But now, there you go, you can see right there, so just get your positioning where it actually is. So I'm going to use it right there. And now, just put it back. If we come back here to the animate button, get the plus arrow, drag it across like this. And put it right to the end. If we go ahead and play this, you can see as the gradient white strikes in, the lens flare also strikes in with it so it looks like the lens flare is making the text appear 
So as you can tell, using a lens flare is not as difficult as it looks. I've just shown you right there, I've made a text appear with a lens flare, and that took probably a minute to do, and yeah, that is how simple it is, and that is the effect you'll get. So yeah, that is it for this video, hopefully you've been able to follow it, and hopefully you now know how to lens flare, and yeah, like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, or even After Effects, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Or you could ask me on Twitter, with that being said, be sure to follow me on Twitter, or I'll keep you updated when I'm really uploading. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my game channel, I post 3-4 to four times a week and play random games. And finally, be sure to add me to Snapchat, where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, thanks so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.